What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you how I defeated Ganryu on the Dragon's Challenge Festival event. This is global exclusive. We have a romancing fight and then serious fights, as you can see here. Three different versions of the fight where you are locking into using specific units from specific series. Now, you can do at least the romancing stage, even if you are a new player, trying to bring your best cards that work here because you don't have any restriction and that will give you 250 gens per clear. The other clears are just 100 gens, so they offer less volley because not everyone will be able to beat since it requires having a lot of diversity on your squad. Now, Genryu is a very strong fight, probably still the easiest one. Genryu has a lot of power and can stun and paralyze and has one skill that seems to be fast. You will have to bring either Pierce or Lightning, it can be Slash, Sun and Shadow will also work. Genryu does not have that much HP, the fight's not that long, but you need to bring lots of defense boosts in this fight and protect yourself versus Cold, Heat, then Blunt, then Slash, and for last, you can bring Pierce and Lightning Resistance. You can run two different formations for this fight, and they will be Rising Phoenix EX. This one will give you Will, that will help you versus the Stun and Paralyze. Or if you have very good debuffers, you can also run Imperial Cross EX, because that will also increase your damage output. Those are probably the best ones to use. You could theoretically also run the Elemental Shutter formation, because this one will give you lots of defenses. Many of the attacks have two Elementals, so they will be cut by 75% of the damage. Okay, but now let's discuss the Romancing Squad a little. Well, the idea here is to bring debuffers, they will be needed. This boss self buffs both by very small effect, it does not really impact the fight too much. But you can still bring a buff breaker if you want. In this case, my uh, buff breaker is Hannibal, he inherits Stardust Plus, and he also counters this boss, has many direct attacks that you can counter. Many of the dragons have direct attacks, that is. And you need one main debuffer with very good debuffs, like James is a very good one. All those could also work. The latest silver is a good one because she deals strong enough damage, can buff and debuff. You also have Mantra that can buff and heal. You can even bring Heaven's Heal if you want, decrease damage taken as well. And Katarina is a very good resource for all of these fights. She will allow you to get a little bit of everything if you are resisting. And you can resist most of the damage of these fights because they are a little more controlled, especially now that you have better equipments. So, this is a resume about the formations and everything that I'll be using. And for equipment, you can see what I brought here for my characters to have at least 35 points of resistance with everyone in order to trigger off Katarina's passive. And from now on, I'll be showing you my runs from a live stream. I'm not gonna run it again because it's a lot of fights and takes so much time to win sometimes, and there's some RNG, like you may die on the start. In the Gameru's case, you can use Ice and Fire, Blast, and that, and do a lot of damage, you have to restart, but the problem is just about the first two or three turns. After that, you have your characters already using their best skills, some of their skills that triggers after some turns will be working, so there is that. Now, let's watch all of the runs. So having fun with this fight, New Flux, which one was the best one so far? I don't know, I think I should just use Word Chain first. Just started. Still working on Jenny. Okay. Probably could just nuke Jenny Ryu with lightning as well. Lightning from Kihachi. What? She missed the attack. What? Did 
Gnadi buff. Damn. James is so good. <laughs> now you're making jokes, right? Stardust. Triple strike. Uh, I wanted to test Heaven's Heal here. To see if she will cast it before the Fire Nice skill. She did cast. Ah, this time he didn't use the fast skill. Hailstorm is not fast. Buffing is needed or you will miss. And I'm buffing here. Katarina allows you to buff. And even Beatra buffs. That's 5% per hit, but it's still buff. You died. Or to here. I should remove silver. Not really helping. The squad lost the ice uh, potential, so. But okay, let's finish this. And it was still very useful here. Too many single tiger attacks as well. Oh, it's also weak to lightning, so get out. Silver. The hatch can still do a lot of damage anyway. Why does Mantrak always take so much more damage than everyone else? She's taking 200. Her secret passive. Every time I use her, she takes more damage than everyone else. Like double the damage. <laughs> it's just like, you know, uh, Nala's daughter's secret taunt. Fights are short, indeed. I changed the equipment. I did. Oh yeah, this was turn four. I forgot. Your critical HP, he gets a massive attack boost. It's just not gonna survive that long. What? Oh, I haven't attacked yet. That's why I could not counter. It just ain't going to survive. It's just five turns. He only has Katarina from this squad. Stop pulling from Booty. You stop pulling for Booty, then maybe you're gonna have the good units. 
Just debuff or you and you'll be fine. <laughs> Tira does not debuff much, but James can. I really like this attack animation, man. I uh, will need an extra turn, I guess. Faster than any ball after many buffs. I will need to counter twice to win this turn. You put me together with those weebs here. <laughs> Don't call them weebs. They are among us. I was once one of them. I wanted all the dragons. Now I can't. I just can't. At least I haven't skipped it a lobster. I actually did skip once the Shenlong first uh, Boston. We'll see. Let's use both skills then. Or actually, no, no, I can use Pirate Command. I just have to use White Step. White Staff may be enough because it will also. Ah, in a combo even. It will also debuff the enemy. It will debuff the agility. Yeah, is it working? enough to land attacks, but on turn 2 I cannot use that skill again. Oh, James got into overdrive? How fast that was! And even use word chain on overdrive. I know these fights yet, copy. He's probably trying. This fight's not super easy, copy, but it's doable. At least you cannot stun me. He has fast... Silver was not landing attacks. He can debuff even without landing attack. Crazy, huh? I am buffing with Hawk here. He debuffs all status from the enemy, so... Even the agility. Wait, what? He died? Hulk, what a disgrace, man. I have to use light up the sun. Hulk OP. <laughs> Imagine a guy with no defense is dying. It's because there were too many uh, single target attacks, right? So we're at four hawks so far, but you only got gray and Indian. I see. Poor man. A little hot and cold. <laughs> Maybe he's listening to AT Perry. Oh, that was good. T 
You've already lost when attacking with lightning after whoops in you. Oh, he's gonna buff the party. That's turn four, right? Acrobatic glass shear. Hawk already getting that unique type of roast. <laughs> Poor Hawk. We also got better in on start. Hawk with James is good because James has extra attacks on overdrive. And Hawk keeps everyone's OG points. Maybe you should just place the reason the center. She is a beast. So many defense boosts. He managed to revive Hawk and he didn't die. Very hair moment. How many AoEs? I need hard to get hit, but not all the time. <laughs> I need AoE attacks. Uh, it's just about the first turns. Once you get past the first turns, no way to lose. This doesn't have enough damage anymore. Ah, <laughs> yeah, this is the run. Of course it is. Reese got into OG again. It's over. Wish you could do seven years, but you missed Final Emperor. I don't have Miss uh, Final Emperor as well. My problem is my debuffer. I don't have either Jamie or Asus, and I won't pull for them. I mean, won't pull for Jamie because I don't have any chance to pull for Asus anyway. I haven't seen any clear down the Final Emperor. Buffs too much, right? You see if they release Emerald Beyond units. <laughs> Yay, six turns only!
It's like in the old days, restart till you win. Indeed. Better choose the strongest attack. So no, I'm not missing anymore. But hey, turn two, I'm gonna use my Heaven's Heal. Point eight thousand. If it's, it's because it was a fast skill and it's a very strong skill as well. It has double S power in global, I guess, or S power. Or hit student? Now we would probably be safe. It's about the first three turns. But I'm not buff breaking a boss, so who knows? It's buffing too much. My buffs are not keeping up. All well, turn seems to be more about AoE. Where is it? Metric always dying. Nothing new. One medium damage with Ellen. Only one chase, Ellen? Didn't get inflicted with ailments, but Meia Lua Compasso do so much damage. I use Lens Dance. Doesn't really help much. You need extra EP generation to use Lens Dance with this metric. You got stunned, guys. You will need a buff breaker. I don't know why Roar is so fast. You have buffed it so much. You still have a chance of getting not attacking Matrix, right? Matrix died. 
just needs to be faster. <laughs> Tell that to her. I should have used her buff, because her buff would have buff and will. No. No before I revive her. One medium per hit. Still another run that it lasts for six turns or so. This is the run. You guys only say this is the run when it's by the end, right? So many failures in the past. You do the same. <laughs> I stop at believing. Zero damage. Still not the end. Followed your footsteps. You don't believe anymore? The power of RNG. Man, this is gonna take lots of live streams or long live streams. Because we have to decide upon the uh, stun it again. But I get it because she just got revived, her status won't be high. But the fight is over. And we are buffing when we are attacking. This is crazy. Oh, pretty no. Leader. Servant to merge first. I said no. This has road and pierce damage. Lightning dwells slash. Who is landing weak attacks here? No one. Fierce fighting spirit first then. That far bring it better than the older one. He has, has better defenses. It's a weaker debuffer, though. Generally, if you don't have good RNG. He's more to the party, though. Hey. Don't you want to kill Kihachi? Didn't know. Starting to trigger brace for Kihachi. Ah, he be triggered on this turn. She taunts again. She taunts till she dies. <laughs> I forgot about that part in my review. She keeps triggering this till she dies. Watch, you missed the attack?
Ah, uh, one more. OBP yet? Now she's gonna take much more damage. Maybe old Firebringer would be better to debuff. Stunts. Brace. Great. All right, bring her triggered evasion. Damage starts scaling, it really does. I remember seeing that Joe is very good with Joe and why she's good. There are videos about the selectors, but Joe is good because she applies a passive to the party where if they get hit, they trigger defense boosts. She also has attack and defense boost with a skill, so she is uh, still a good character for. Offense and defense. This is the end, guys. We may win on this turn. Here, I guess. What? I am happy. I got your account back. Oh, really? So fast? Congratulations, Theron. Didn't bring Khalid and Kihachi. I should have. Was he included on this list? Uh, no, he was not included on this list. You can't bring him because he's a Runsing Saga tree. This is a serious challenge. Nah, we need another turn. Like I said, hey, has anyone told Dragon Knight he doesn't need to attack 75 times a turn? Hawk will be there when the time comes. Ihachi, Chase's own OG are gone now. But I still have Lightning Blade in full. I'm just gonna check the next boss, guys, but I will go to sleep. Because we won't have enough time to have fun. It's very close to midnight time on Brazil. But it's fun. I really love this type of content. I know it's more for veterans and newcomers, but... Well, it's very interesting to play with restrictions. Think outside the box, right? You are all saying that the fights are hard, so... It will be better to play tomorrow. Still, a victory is a victory. First time. It was missing on Kihachi. Thanks, Crash Lord. Oh, Ganryu is gone, but you are all saying it's the easiest challenge. 